Today on the show, Don Jose Ruiz discusses his book, The Fifth Agreement, and explains why we need to be skeptical of our inner voice, but learn to listen to our hearts. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Natalie Ledwell, and this is The Inspiration Show. And today, I'm here with Don Jose Ruiz. Hi, Don. Hi, Hi I'm I'm Sorry, Jose. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> oh, very, very, very happy to be here this morning. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you. Um, now, the reason I have you here today is that we're actually going to be talking about The Fifth Agreement, which is a book that you co-authored with your father. Now, we actually recorded a video, or I recorded a video about a month ago talking about The Four Agreements. Um, so uh, what I might do is actually first start a little bit about your story and your background, and then we can start talking about the book. So. Okay. Yes, uh, when I first uh, had the memory, I began uh, learning from my father, from my grandmother and my mother, and what they taught me was love and discipline, you know, just uh, things from the heart. Mm -hmm. And then I grew up into being a teenager and then get into the peer pressures of life in the neighborhood. Yes. So in that moment, I began uh, following the wrong path, you know, in school, and uh, then little by little, I got in, in absorbed by that kind of way of life until something happened that one of my best friends uh, had a car accident and he died. And I was supposed to be in the car with them, but I, my dad took me for the weekend to San Diego. Mm -hmm. So I live in Tijuana. But when I came back to Tijuana, they got me, they told me the news. It was like the first time I had a reality check inside of me that I was choosing negativity in my life without being aware of it. So in that moment, I went for my dad for, for help. And, he put a big smile on his face and says, welcome back home, my son. And in that moment, I've been like, uh, learning every experience that could happen. And uh, one of the final things that really woke me up was my dad's uh, heart attack. To mm -hmm. see him for the first time there, and that's when he went to a nine-week coma. And it's when I decided to step into the family lineage. Right. So you grew up in Mexico? Yes. Yep. And uh, you, uh, you and, and your father are Toltec shamans? Yes. Yeah. What is, that? what is a Toltec shaman? Well, the Toltec shaman in Mexico...